The Windsor Spitfires punched their ticket to the OHL playoffs by forcing overtime in their final two regular season games of the OHL season this past week. On Thursday, the Spitfires trailed the Flint Firebirds 3-0 in the second period before Windsor captain Luke Boca finally got the Spitfires on the board with this tough individual effort. Curtis Douglas scored a pair of goals in the third period to force overtime, but neither team would score in the extra five minutes. In the shootout, former Spitfire Cody Morgan scored on Flint's third attempt to win the game 4-3, but the Spitfires earned an important point in that game. On Friday night, the Spitfires once again fell behind 3-0 to the Sarnia Sting before John Luke Foodie scored his second goal of the game, shorthanded to tie the contest 3-3 and send the game into overtime. Yet again, the Spitfires failed to convert in the shootout and Sarnia walked away with the extra point. As the 8th place team, the Spitfires will now battle the OHL Western Conference's top-seeded London Knights in a best of seven series. The Windsor Lancers men's volleyball team defeated the Toronto Varsity Blues 3-1 to capture the team's second consecutive OUA bronze medal. With match point on the line, it was only right that fifth-year middle blocker John Moat was the one to hammer the final nail in the coffin. To win the set, 25-19 and match 3-1 to capture Windsor's second consecutive OUA bronze medal. Congratulations to the Windsor Lancers on a successful men's volleyball season. After winning the OCAA silver medal, the St. Clair Saints took a trip to Quebec City to compete in the CCAA National Championships. After winning the OCAA silver medal a week ago, the St. Clair Saints went on to the CCAA National Championships and placed seventh amongst the nation's best women's basketball teams. The Saints concluded one of the finest seasons in St. Clair women's basketball history by defeating Mount St. Vincent University of Halifax, Nova Scotia by a score of 73-65 to as they jet to St. Foy. This was the first program victory on the national stage for the Saints with a final placing of 7th in Canada for head coach Andy Kiss and his entire coaching staff. Windsor Lancers women's basketball coach Chantal Vallée led the Hamilton Honey Badgers through the inaugural CEBL entry draft and her first impactful day as the men's professional team's new head coach and general manager. Valet was hired as Hamilton's head coach in GM in November of 2018. Just four months later, she led the Honey Badgers through their inaugural entry draft alongside President John Lashway and scout Lucas Reindler. Over the course of the afternoon, Valet selected 13 Canadian, international and youth sports players to represent the Honey Badgers in their first season of professional basketball action in the summer of 2019. Although the entry draft took place on March 16th, the complete CEBL team roster and draft pick lists will not be released until March 23rd. The Play for a Cure uh, charity hockey tournament is coming up in LaSalle and here to tell us a little bit about the tournament is the tournament director Jeff Casey. So Jeff, thank you very much for being here. Ah, thank you for having me. I'm sure there's a, a, a couple of hiccups that you've had uh, along the way recently <laughs> uh, having to change venues and whatnot, but I'm sure this is a very exciting time for you and whoever is involved in this organization. Can you tell us a little bit about it's that? It's absolutely tremendous. We've had a tremendous amount of support from communities all around Essex County. It's been great. Um, yeah, so the, I guess maybe the idea behind all of this is playing for a cure. Mm -hmm. We want to support cancer research in our community. So um, with my wife and I and uh, another couple, Harvey and Elaine Snaden, we started the Cancer Research Collaboration Fund. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is we're raising money to support local cancer research. So the idea really is to gather teams, which we've already done. So we have our eight teams. On those teams, we have um, about 15 players on each team, and each player has to fundraise. Um, the, the idea behind it is we get, we have eight NHL alumni that are coming to the tournament and the top team fundraising gets to draft their NHL player on a, on a draft party that we're hosting. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, we have individual fundraising. So uh, the players that fundraised the most money as of last Friday um, get to play against the Detroit Red Wing alumni team that we have coming in on the, the following Friday. Jeff, thank you very much for taking the initiative to, to start this kind, of, uh, this kind of tournament. This week's TSS Spotlight is shining on the Kennedy Clippers boys basketball team, who won the program's first ever AA gold medal at the Provincial Championships in Timmins last week. The Clippers made sure that their number one ranking was true as they defeated Toronto Westview Centennial 64-59 in the championship game. Congratulations to Pat Osborne, Steve Silvaggio, and the entire Kennedy Clippers team and staff.